right, everybody, we're back here for another wild video on a case knife. Um, a lot of people that follow me have seen this blade right here. I bought this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It is the Case Smoky Valley Sunset Autumn Bone Large Stockman Folding Knife. That's how it's advertised on Smoky Mountain. Um, it's about a 4.25 inch knife. It is a slip joint. Um, let's see the measurements here. We got the blade lengths. We got a 3.3 inch clip point blade. Uh, 2.3 inch th uh, sheep's foot. And then we have a 2.2 inch spade blade. Now, if we look at this blade, uh, another good thing about this knife, it doesn't have a shield. Um, I opted for a knife like this, one, because I wanted carbon steel, and the other one, um, this one didn't have a shield in it, because shields are known to pop out, because they just glue them in, but we, look here on this. We got carbon 1095 stamped into the bolster here. Now, this knife, you know, it's a kind of a love-hate relationship when you order a case online, Sometimes you don't know what you're getting, um, but this one here, I mean, it's fairly decent. We have a little gappage, uh, I want to say, maybe like right in here where you can see some daylight. But other than that, the knife is done fairly well. There are some things about it that I that I had to fix, um, but I mean, we've got smooth transitions into your bolsters. Finish, we don't have any gappage up here where the bone meets the bolsters on where your, where your springs are at. But, you know, one thing I didn't like when I got it, um, the clip point blade, we had a huge belly out here, and, and when they tumble these to polish the blades, they say they can't sharpen the point very well, but if I can get your knife and put a point on it, you should be able to do that from the factory, <laughs> but that's just my opinion. So let's look at the actual, let's look at the tangs on these. I believe the tang on the sheep's foot is a good looking tang. Uh, if it'll focus, hold on just a second. We got USA 6375, then we got 1095 right there. Now this knife right here is a 2022 model. Um, we know that because it'll it'll have eight dots there, but we also know we just do it the easy way and we look at the box here and it'll it'll tell us too right there. But here's the box. Autumn Bone Deep Canyon Jig Large Stockman USA 6375-1095. So there's the information on that. Um, if we look, I've been using the Dickens out of this thing. I When I first got it, I stuck it in a, in a potato to put some patina on it. I didn't like it, so I polished that patina off. And then I just started using it to peel an apple and to cut meat and things like that. And this is what we're looking at so far. A decent little patina just from... From everyday use. I did put the fake patina on it right away, but I didn't like it, so I, I took that off and I just started using it. And uh, I'll use it, let it sit there for a little bit, then I'll, I'll take it and if it's got food on it, I'll clean the food off of it and then I'll put some wicked wax on it or, or something. But, And there we got CS for carbon steel there as well. But I wanted to carry this knife for a little bit before I did a video on it. I've had this knife for a couple weeks now. And I, I just wanted to carry it and see what I really thought of it before I did a video. Anyone can get a knife, open up the box from Smoky Mountain and do a video on it. I wanted to get the knife, carry it, and give you my opinion. Um, my opinion is, the more I used it, the more action it's getting. You know, it's not, it's not GEC action, but when I first got it, it wasn't that snappy. Just using it and putting some oil on it and things like that did help it out. Sheep's foot, a little better. The spay, I don't know. I don't use the spay a lot. I've, I've peeled some apples with it and used it here and there. But Another thing I want to talk about was the grinds on the knife. Uh, the grinds, oh, they were terrible. And they're still not 100% on this. I've, I sharpened this, put my kind of edge on it. But if we look, this thing come with like no edge on one side. And it was sharpened on the other. And we see it has a belly right here. So I didn't want to take off a lot of meat. So what I did is I just kind of cleaned up the edges. And then over time, that'll just straighten itself out. I'll probably sharpen this knife once a month on some diamond stones. And by doing that, it'll just it'll just work its way right in. Same with the point. I redid. This was so rounded out here. It was terrible. So I just I didn't want to take off a lot of meat at one time. So I just slowly put that on it. And then every time I sharpen it, it'll just continue to get hypodermic. 
because I like to have a nice point on my knife, especially my clip point. That's why it's called a clip point, right? You take this and compare it to a buck or something. Yeah, the buck or, the buck or any other brand is going to blow it away as far as tip-wise. But this case knife, I love it. I'm not going to lie. Smoky Mountain had this, and I think the price was like $85 or $86. I had a 10% off thing. I got this delivered to me for $80. Bucks. So, and all I do is I just, I just rub a little, when I put some Wicked Wax on the blades after I'm done using it, because I carry Wicked Wax in my lunchbox, I just take my fingers and I just rub it into the bone and hydrate that bone up, and it just, I tell you, it's, pre it's a pretty knife. I mean, I'm a big guy, I ain't afraid to use the word pretty. But look, this side's a little lighter than this side, but that don't bother me, it just gives it character. And then, we all know the story behind this, this came about a the same day or the day before this did and this has just been a match made in heaven what I do is I put this on my belt and I carry it right here like this so that carbon 1095 sticks up that way if anyone wants to ask me a question and strike up some knife conversation I'm all game for it you know Big J I'm always ready to talk some knives so this is just a look at it I I like it is it worth $80 yes it's worth 80 is it worth 90 or 100 no it's not um, I'd pay 80 for this all day long but if you're going over 80, I don't think I would do it. Um, you know, they do have the autumn, just the autumn jig bone, I think, in the same iteration. And uh, I think it's 78 maybe. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll open up a, an old, hey, this knife's pretty old. This knife is an 86 model. And we know that because of that right there. I don't know. If you guys want to know how to date case knives, you can, you can look it up. But we'll open this one and just look at that one. So we'll compare it to its bigger brother. This is a 6318. Never been used. I got that at a flea market for probably 30 bucks. And we'll just look at it compared to, well, let's put them the same. Uh, I want to put them the same way. So, you know, I'm kind of anal. So let's put them the same way. So we look at the size difference. I don't have a 47. I wish I had a 47. Um, that'll be the next one that I buy. But we just look at the size difference here. When I hold this, I feel comfortable using it. I've went back to using carrying a traditional knife. I'll still carry a pair of three once in a while in my pocket. But having this belt sheath with this knife in it, it frees up so much pocket space. You know, when you're carrying car keys, uh, nasal spray, chapstick, all the stuff that I carry when I walk out the door, having this on a belt frees up so much room. Uh, a wallet, maybe a notebook, my cell phone. It's just all that this creates much needed room. And thank you again, Georgia Adventure. I couldn't be more happier with that. That is an awesome, awesome thing you sent over. But if we look, I mean... This is it. This is a look at my 6375 Large Stockman from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I think that knife, I, I don't know, I'm, I don't follow everything on Smoky Mountain, but I think this is an exclusive for Smoky Mountain. I, I think, I don't know. Sometimes when people see it, like a guy at the flea market wanted to see it, and I handed it to him, he said, is this a, the one, is this a Smoky Mountain exclusive? I'm like, I, I guess, hell, I don't know. But look at that. I like how that carbon 1095 is stamped in there. It's just beautiful. So guys, um, this is a look at her. We've been on here for about nine minutes talking about this knife. Um, Want to talk about happy hour live chat um, this this Saturday, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we may or may not have a guest. I, I think we will. Um, so hop on there. The live will be built, so hop in there. Hit that notification bell while you're at it. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. I love talking to you guys and uh, having a conversation about knives. But yeah, do that and stay sharp and stay strong.